Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm extremely happy to have you here with me today. Today we have a very interesting lesson which is about the merge node inside of N8N. It's a very uh, cool uh, node to have. Uh, it's something that we don't have in uh, in make.com if you come from make.com. So it's a it's an interesting note that a lot of times when I'm dealing with make and working out uh, scenarios over there I wish that I could have this type of node but uh, N8N does have it so today we're gonna investigate it okay but before I start I just want to make your point your attention to my store uh, here you'll find all of the automations the N8N automations that I created you can find them here you can download them you can use them you can sell them uh, to you can do whatever you want and also I have an N8N beginners uh, course in case you want to uh, ref uh, have a refresher or if you're starting out, this would be a great way for you to start. Even if you're coming from make.com, this would be a great way to start. Okay, I'll put the link in the description below. So uh, I am in N8N right now. I'm going to click on this create workflow on the top right. And here we are. So we, we now should add our, our first step. Uh, I just love how uh, N8N looks like, like this dark background. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, so let's start with the trigger. So step one, so the step that starts this workflow, I'm gonna start with a manual one. So in case you're wondering what triggers are, uh, I explained that in depth uh, in my course that I just uh, told you about. So this type of trigger only gets activated if you click the test button. You cannot make it, uh, you cannot activate it from here because it doesn't, it requires a manual intervention. So let me rename this to merge node. And let's now go ahead and bring our data as always. So I'm going to head over to sheets and I'm going to get rows. So in here, I'm gonna, I have two sheets. I have contacts and contacts three. So I am going to get the ID from here and I'm gonna put it here. So document ID is this. So this will be sheet one. So uh, the contacts one, so I don't get lost. Okay, and if we test, then we're gonna have the list of contacts. Perfect. So let me now duplicate this because we need two sources, right? We'll put this here and we'll call this contacts uh, three. And this will bring this one. We'll put the ID as we did with the, the last one and then we'll choose the sheet and then we'll test and we're going to have our data here. Okay, so I'm going to pin those, the data so I don't have to call this over and over again. I'm going to pin the data. Perfect. So now I have seven items here and uh, yeah, seven items here. So both are seven. So. I want to have, I want to right now continue with this scenario, but I don't want to have both lines going. So I want to have a node that merges two, uh, two pathways. And this is exactly what the merge node does. So I can go to merge. I'm gonna put it here, there you go. A merge mo node takes two input and sometimes even more. So if we click on the uh, on the merge node, it has uh, a lot of options, right? Uh, so we have append, and we have combine, and we have to do we can do a query and branch. So if we choose combine, then uh, let me hook that up. So this is input one and this is input two. If we say combine and we have options, so matching fields, combine items with the same uh, fields value. Okay. 
So here we, sh we, we say, what, what fields do we need to match? Let's grab the name and then uh, the output type, what do we want? Do we want to keep the matches or do we want to keep the non-matches? Do you want to keep everything or, or do you want to enrich? What enrich me is all the input from one with the data input from two added to it. So it's like a join mechanism. Let's keep matches and test. So here we, we can see that, uh, so Jack, Lily, Derek, Jaden, and Mike. So those are the common ones, right? So those are the common ones between these two tables. And this is why we kept them. So keep the matches. We can say keep none matches. And then you can see that only the ones that, that don't, uh, that are not in both, are kept right like you see Tom Tom exists doesn't exist in here but only exists in here right uh, Mark Mark exists in here but but doesn't exist in here so when we say keep none matches so you're gonna keep the the items that are present in only one of the tables okay and here it tells you this is from input one and this is from input two what if we say keep everything if we say keep everything, now we have nine items. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, there's seven here and there's seven there. So combined, there are 14, and but we only see nine. So that is a very good question because we have the combined matching field, right? So you don't have, you will not have all of these. You will not have, as you can see here, we, we don't have repetition. So because Jack exists in both, of this table, for example. If we go Jack here and Jack there, but it doesn't put it twice, it only puts it once, right? Uh, even if we have keep everything, okay? So what if we say position? So let's test. So now we have seven, so number of inputs two, and we just take them based on their position. So we're taking the first one, So combine items based on their order, perfect. Uh, and now here we could put several inputs, okay? But if you're asking, well, how can I combine both and have 14? Then we can, we can go over to the append. And if we test this, we'll have 14. But notice now we'll have Jack here and Jack here. So even the repetitive uh, rows are there, right? So this is something to keep in mind. But with the append, you can have up to 10, right? If you go here, there you go. You have up to 10 inputs. You can even put more sheets, more sheets and more sheets and combine them you, you, by, by appending. You're just adding, you're just adding without any logic to it. Okay. I use append quite a lot. Okay. Uh, and I also use the combine and when I want to keep, keep non matches or keep matches, this is very, very, very cool to have. Okay. Uh, so, uh, and then let's test this workflow. Okay. We need to define a field, we remove that. So now now you have this uh, this uh, this way of working, right? You have two like two lines that were going, but now you combine them into one node, and this is the type of nodes that don't that doesn't exist in Make, and this is the type of nodes that are always uh, in certain scenarios. I wanted to just I had two lines working out each with their nodes, and I want to just put them all together, but you don't have that in Make. Uh, but in N8, then it provides you this uh, this merge node provides you and has so much capabilities with the, with, as we said with the uh, uh, with the keep matches and keep non matches. This would be great if you have uh, if you have certain elements that are both in uh, that are existing in both tables and you just want to say okay what exists in both of these tables it's very easy to do it in the merge or if you want to say what exists what what exists in in uh, uh like what keep non-matches you can you can do that and you have the keep everything but the keep everything keep in mind 
that it does not um, it does not append them right the append is different keep everything uh, will not have duplicates we'll have everything from both tables but it will remove any duplicates okay uh, that being said there is a node uh, remove duplicates so there is a node to remove duplicates uh, in case you want to append and then remove duplicates uh, let's do that let's try that let's do the append so now we have duplicates apparently and here we can say let's test there you go now it removed all duplicates so now we have 14 and then now we have nine so you can do the append and then remove duplicates or if you do not want to have duplicates you can do you can have the combine and then uh, keep uh, keep matches okay so that is the uh, the merge node in a nutshell uh, i hope uh, there was uh, it, it, you can start uh, using the merge node i use it a lot in my uh, in my workflows it's quite powerful uh, of course, it has a lot of uh, advanced capabilities with the SQL. Uh, I'm not a coder to know that, but uh, with ChatGPT, uh, it can help you if you want to investigate that. Uh, so I will, I will save the, uh, I will download the the workflow here and add it for you guys to have access to it, uh, in case you want to try it yourself. Uh, if you did like this lesson, give it a like. Uh, subscribe for more videos and don't forget to check out the links in the description below thank you for watching and see you in the next video